Today on Scroll Broadcast, we'll hear from Colin Prisby for more about IBC companies across BYUI. And we got another segment of Lauren in the Crossroads that will explore our school's natural diversity. And who could forget about BYU-Idaho's semi-annual cultural night, where we'll have Victoria Skellick with the wrap-up. Hello and welcome to Scroll Broadcast, a BYU-Idaho news show. We're so excited to be your host. I'm Cecily Walker. And I'm Jeremy Crumbo. Stay tuned for this week's news and exciting updates. Speaking of exciting news, what could be more exciting than last week's Culture Night? That's right. It's an event that takes place each semester where students can participate in and watch special performances that showcase both talent and cultural individuality from so many places around the globe. And reporting on the melting pot of fun, color, music, and culture is Victoria Skolik. To you, Tori. Thanks, you two in the studio, and welcome back to your favorite part of Scroll Broadcast. My name is Victoria Skolik, and I'm here for Cultural Night. Cultural Night only happens twice a year, meaning you only have two opportunities to see the beautiful cultures that are represented on a beautiful campus. Here we have students from 93 different countries, but enough from me. Let's go and interview some people. I'm here with Jordan Papa, one of the people who works for Campus Life Events. What is Cultural Night all about? Cultural Night is an opportunity that we have for our international students and cultural students, and really anyone, to come and show us a part of their culture. We do this through singing and through dancing. Um, it's a night where everyone can come and feel united. Hey, that's really cool. What is your personal favorite of Cultural Night? I just love that it's an opportunity that you can feel one with everyone else. You know, there's no separation and just realizing that we all are so similar and we can do that through seeing the beauty of other people's cultures. I love that. So how long have you guys been preparing for Cultural Night? Because this is a pretty big event, right? Yeah, it's super big. It happens every fall and every winter. And we honestly, we start planning two years in advance. They reserve the space, starting with that. But then the actual people, they prepare starting, but and as soon as this one's over, people are gonna start preparing for the next one, which is super exciting. How many groups are in this? This one specifically, this is our biggest group we've had. There are 22 acts tonight. What's your name? Uh, my name is also Seth Ferguson. That is a beautiful name. Where are you from? Because that does not sound American. <laughs> yeah, um, from West Africa, Nigeria. That is pretty cool. I love your outfit. You look so beautiful. And her entire group looks like that. So you're partaking in the cultural night. Why did your group choose to do that? So basically, we just want to come together because in Africa we have like 54 countries. So we just want to show how united all the countries are in Africa, even though we're from different parts of the continent. So just want to like show how the cultures bring us together. Is this your first time doing Cultural Night? Yes, it's my first semester, first Cultural Night ever. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. What is your favorite part about Cultural Night? Um, basically seeing all the other cultures and the costumes and the dances and it's very cool. How long have you guys been preparing for this? So about, we start in the middle of February, so about like, let's say two weeks, two, two to three weeks. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Is there anything you want to tell the students to encourage them to come the next time? Um, I'll say, well, Culture Night is a great way to know more about the cultures around the world because like being born in one place, you don't get to see much about other cultures. So if you come Culture Night, that can really give you an insight of what other cultures look like. Like what, like give you the feel of it. What a beautiful event. I know I'm coming every time I'm here. But enough from me, my time is up. Back to you two in the studio. What an unforgettable experience. I'll say, I'm sure glad I didn't miss it. To those of you who did miss it, we encourage you to check it out next semester. But Culture Night isn't the only place to become acquainted with diversity at the school. Lauren's feature on everyday life covers cultural representation and a medley of student life. 
And on that note, let's turn to Lauren Parker for the latest installment of Crossroad Connections. Hi, it's Lauren Parker and welcome to Crossroad Connections. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about culture. We're gonna to get to meet some different students at BYU-Idaho and hear where they're from and what makes them unique. So, let's get to it. I'm here with Hina. Where are you from? Oh, Japan. I'm from Mexico City. I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm from the DRC, Democratic Republic of the Congo. I'm from Taiwan. Josh, where are your ancestors from? I'm from Scotland. How do you keep your culture alive while being here in Rexburg? I try to be myself. Um, most of the times you find me dressed in my cultural clothing. Cooking or like talking in Spanish with my friends or people I don't know. Idaho, so I have so so many Japanese friends here. Yeah, also I really love Asian culture. So so we um, I'm gonna keep it myself by talking with my you know Asian friends. I just don't do things that I wouldn't do with my parents. Like if it's something that my culture don't allow me to do, then I don't do that. I just stay me. Um, I, I make food a lot and I hang out with my Taiwanese friends. How do you kind of keep that, that culture and that heritage alive? Oh, I'm a junior. What percent of BYU-Idaho do you think is international students? Your best guess. Everyone is an international student here. <laughs> I think over like 20%. I would guess it's like 30%. Less than 10%? 37%. And then my last question for you, Val. Do you have a tradition that's special to you? Yeah, I love Dia de Muertos. It's like Halloween, but like the Mexican version. Actually, in Mexico, we do both. Like we do Halloween and we do Dia de Muertos, which is really nice. Rexburg has sushi restaurant. Yeah, this is my heart. Okay. Being with family, um, probably visiting our grandmothers, towards the end of the year. Uh, in my culture, we can't smoke at all. So like the entire people of where I'm from don't smoke. Thank you for watching Crossroad Connections with us and for getting to know so many different students from around the world. We'll see you next time. Back to you guys in the studio. You know, I think that the atmosphere in the crossroads is pretty epic. Oh, and the food is exquisite. <laughs> I can not say that I haven't gotten food for lunch there from time to time. Out of curiosity, what's your favorite place? Probably, honestly, Teton Burger. A little pricey, but I love the cheeseburgers. <laughs> All this talk about food is making me hungry. But from 11.30 to 12 on Tuesday mornings, the Crossroads and other student staff businesses are closed for devotional. Sadly, that's true. But while you're not allowed to bring food into the eye center, you can still enjoy the spiritual nourishment that comes from Devo. And who better to report on that than Bia Matos? Let's go to Bia for another great devotional recap. Hi, my name is Bia Matos with this week's Devo Recap. This week we had the pleasure of listening to Sister Dalton speak. She's a BYU English graduate and from 2008 to 2013 she served as the Young Women's General President. She loves to be outside and actually ran 17 whole marathons, which is so cool of her. In her talk, she told many wonderful stories, all of which expressed the importance of keeping your covenants and how listening to the promptings of the Holy Ghost is so important. She also told told us about how if we are faithful and obedient to the covenants that we make with God, we will be way more receptive to spiritual promptings as well as revelation. And because of that, we will never be alone. Remember that Heavenly Father loves you and he wants nothing but the best for you. So if you try your best to do your part, he will have no problem blessing you greatly. My name is Bia Matos with this week's Devo Recap. Thanks for watching and back to you guys in the studio. Wasn't Sister Dalton's talk amazing? Yeah, it's always inspiring to hear from our faculty and leaders of the church. I'll say. But if I remember correctly, taking care of yourself physically is one of the four points in the new youth goal program. And while we're no longer youth, maintaining our health is still a relevant issue. Definitely. And you guessed it, we're exercising our excellent segue skills to bring up Andy Ordonez's expose on the sports program. This week's entry focuses on student wrestling. Over and out, Andy. Thanks guys from the studio. If you guys have wrestled in high school and are looking for opportunities to wrestle out here, 
This is just the right place. We're here at Heart 187, where students are here, to put it in simple terms, just to wrestle. Wrestling is one of the most competitive and physically demanding sports in high school and in college. So if you're looking to continue to participate and do that out here in BYU, Idaho, this is the place. And so I'm here with Zeke. So Zeke, tell me a little bit more about wrestling. Um, so basically we just kind of get together and we get like an open mat um, going three days a week. Um, we do Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays from three to seven. And then we actually have a girls only practice on Saturdays from eight to 9.30. And then we're doing classes as well and we're gonna be mixing them in between those times. We have a specific class on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And it's really just a great environment. We're all friends and we're just here to you know, get a really good workout in. Um, Everyone's welcome. You know, people who are new to the sport or have been wrestling in the past, pretty accepting of all. Everyone's here to help each other out and just have a fun time. And would you recommend any anyone that has wrestled or has some wrestling to come out and try? Oh yeah, I, I'd recommend it. I love it. It's just a really great workout and we just have a lot of fun while we're here. Like I said in the past, if you have wrestled in high school before and are looking for an opportunity to make new friends, ones that have similar hobbies to you, come out here and wrestle and bring your friends as well. It's a great opportunity for everyone to meet new people and to be able to just establish new friendships. Whether you're a guy or whether you're a girl, you can come out here and everyone is welcome. Back to you guys at the studio. What a turn of events. Any chance that we'll see the next John Cena or Dwayne The Rock Johnson here? Ha, if it's the next John Cena, we'll never see him. <laughs> But who knows, just think, this might be the time to make some new famous wrestlers. Wouldn't that be neat? I have faith in our students that we can even accomplish anything, even becoming famous. You know what else is famous? Celebrities? Uh, yes, but that's not what I was thinking of. I was thinking of upcoming campus events. But Jeremy, aren't you out of your usual element? I am, I know, but we gotta get announcements in somehow. Okay, Jeremy Crumbo, the floor is yours. Get your competitive spirits ready because this weekend is full of different sports and fitness competitions to participate in. This Saturday will be the semester powerlifting competition from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Winners are determined by the total weight lifted divided by their body weight. There are two attempts per lift, so enjoy it. It is also the month of March, so you know what that means, March Madness. The March Madness Bracket Challenge will be giving out prizes to the top 30 brackets. Top prizes include AirPods, but they'll also be giving away basketball jerseys, lunch at the crossroads, sling bags, towels, hammocks, beanies, and lanyards. All faculty and students can submit a bracket and follow the NCAA Men's Tournament. Brackets are due March 18th through the 20th. Submit any time before that date. Last but not least, this month is also the Stay Fit Don't Quit competition. See who can go to the most fitness classes in the month of March. Top three winners will choose from a Ninja Blender, Yoga Mat, or Fitness T-shirt. That's all I got for you. Let's go back to hosting. Thanks, Jeremy. From the eye center to the heart, the school has some great competitions. Oh yeah, not to mention some great IBC businesses. Which is where we're going to next. It's time to switch over to Colin Prisby for the, and the IVC students. Thanks for that in the studio, guys. I'm here with the final installment of the IBC show, where I get to show you what the IBC businesses are this semester, where they are, and what they sell. Hey there, we're back again with another IBC company. I'm here with Brooke, who's a marketing specialist for Craftsman Such Leather Company. So tell me, what do you guys sell here? Great question. We sell custom engraved genuine leather cowhide products. Um, we specialize in keychains and key charm accessories, but we are expanding our reach into new exciting products. If you follow us on Instagram, you can keep an eye out for those. Um, but the keychains are really our most popular seller. Sounds good. And what made you guys choose this specific business? Yeah, well, um, you know, we wanted to choose something that felt local, um, something that we could make really high quality. That was really important to us. And we really loved the idea of leather. It's really popular. Um, with this demographic here in Idaho, as well as it's up and coming as a trend right now um, in niche products. If you look on like Etsy, Pinterest, Instagram shopping, things like that, leather's just everywhere right now. So we really wanted to capitalize on that opportunity, but we also thought that it was just really cute. And it's been great so far. People seem to really like it, so I'm glad we chose it. Perfect, and so why did you guys choose this particular location and hours? Yeah, so we sell between really popular hours, 11 and two. 
Um, this location specifically, we're really lucky we get to sell in two locations this semester. So we're selling right now in the Heart. It's a really great central location on campus, but we also love the students that come through the Heart building. They're super energetic and they're super active. It's, you know, the building with the gym and a lot of the fitness activities. So students are really eager to engage and to talk to us. And that's been really awesome for us to you know, sell to them and get to know them on campus. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, you heard it right here, folks. Come on down to the Heart Building from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. or after the 5th. Come on down to the MC and you get yourself some nice leather accessories. I'm here with Cohen, who's the Chief Human Resource Officer of Indulgent. And we're here to figure out what you guys are about. So tell me, what do you guys sell? So we sell all things covered in chocolate. We've got our caramels. We also have our mangoes are a big hit. And our biggest is our peanut butter balls. Um, we also have a lot of other options, our pretzels and um, lots of different things to indulge upon. And we are open to ideas and we're always adding new products, which is really exciting. That's awesome. Thank you. And so why did you guys choose this particular business and location? We were the most enthusiastic and excited about this one. The chocolate and the opportunities with it. Um, we also kind of, they tested the peanut butter balls originally. They were super fun. We were excited to go and share that with everybody. And this location, um, you bid upon the locations. And there's one that we would prefer to have had. Um, but we didn't get it, but we're super happy to have this one because of Devo Days. We are also transferring over to the Heart Building. So all you gym goers, I mean, after your um, workout, we'd love to give you some unhealthy protein. Sounds good. Perfect. You guys here, heard it here, folks. Come on down to the Eye Center for about 10, 30, 11 to 2 p.m. And soon you're going to be moving over to the Heart Building and check out Indulge and get some nice uh, fancy treats. I'm here with Raphael, the VP of Sales of Mama's Lunchies, and we're here to talk about what they do. So tell me, what do you guys sell? Essentially, we sell crustless sandwiches filled with sweet flavors. And beyond just the sandwich itself, we also sell the experience of love, connection, appreciation of students around here at Rexbury. That's awesome. I love that. And what made you guys choose this business? Well, we understand and recognize that a lot of people have a lot of movement going on and they don't have really time to prepare sandwiches or even meals for themselves. So we wanted to fulfill that need by not only giving them something that is tasty, but something that feels like they belong. And essentially, that's what we want to do today. Perfect. Thank you so much. And is there anything else you want to tell our audience about your business? Please follow us on Instagram at Mama's Lunchies. We have a program running out nowadays that if you send us a message, we can send us a message to a loved one or anybody that you want with a custom message, an idea, and perhaps a sandwich as well. Perfect. Thank you so much. And you heard it right here, folks. Come on down to the Benson Building from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. or contact them on Instagram and you can send a sandwich to a loved one. Thanks again to all those IBC businesses for doing that with us. I am so excited to see all of them. Once again, I'm Colin Prisbury reporting for Scroll Broadcast. Another successful hit in the world of stories. You could say that again. We at Scroll Broadcast hope that you enjoyed another episode. That's all the news. Don't scroll past our videos just yet. If you want to read more stories about Rexburg, the school, or other news, please visit Scroll's website at byuiscroll.org. Well, that's all the time we have today, but remember to tune in next time. And watch a new episode every week on Fridays. Where it will be posted to social media. Remember to share it with your friends. This has been our show today. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.